All right, YouTube. Today we're sitting in my garage so that I can show you a misconception that a lot of people have with lenses. So when you do a ray tracing diagram, there's typically an object and an image. And, and people don't really understand the difference between a virtual and a real image. So I want to show you a real image today and a virtual image. And we're sitting in my garage to do that so that we can use the objects across the street. You see, light is coming in from the neighbor's Jeep and the neighbor's house through this lens and there's an image. An image forms on the other side of this convex lens. Now the problem is light passes through this and an image forms over here and people expect there to be some sort of a hologram like uh, you know Princess Leia saying help me Obi-Wan Kenobi but there's not. But there is in fact an image here and the issue is that image focuses at a particular point. Now if I hold this lens near the wall, look right here. As I put the lens closer and closer to the wall, there comes a point where all that light focuses and we get an image on the wall. If the lens is too far away, it's out of focus. The light is passing through here, but it's out of focus. But when this is at just the right distance away, this image forms. And that is what we call a real image. You'll see, it's inverted and it's smaller. You can do the math for that. You can see that in some of my other videos for convex lenses. But you'll see, what we have here is a real image. We say it's real because it can be projected onto a surface. Or really, it's, it's real because the image is on the opposite side of the lens from the objects. In this case, the car that just drove by. Now... We can do the same thing with a mirror. So here's a mirror. This is a concave mirror. Now if I try to hold this up against the wall, it's just going to reflect the wall. Now if I hold this so that it's reflecting light off of what's outside, you'll notice uh, there's nothing for this light to project onto, which is why we got a whiteboard. Come around over here. So you'll see, this mirror is projecting an image onto the whiteboard. We'd say that's a real image. That image appears on something we can project it onto. Now in the case of a mirror, a real image shows up on the same side of the mirror as the object. In this case you've got the Jeep in the background and then the image of the Jeep sitting against the whiteboard. Now the question comes up then what's a virtual image? If a real image gets projected onto something, stay right where you are. Okay. Now you're looking at a virtual image of my wife trying to videotape this. Can you see you in there? Okay. So what you see is an image that appears as though it's somewhere back here. It appears as though there's a teeny tiny little wife inside my mirror that is recording everything. All right. And we can see a similar situation with a lens. If I take a concave lens and we look at this, you should be able to see a teeny tiny little Jeep living inside that lens. It's a virtual image. It doesn't project through so that the image shows up on the same side of the lens. It appears as though there's an image somewhere back here of this teeny tiny little Jeep living inside that lens. So, this has been the difference between a real and a virtual image in my garage. And on that note, that's all for now. That's it.